All right, it's the end of the day. I've got this segment done. This represents two full days. I mean like sun up to sundown and a half day. Half day the material showed up. Pretty straight rows. And there's a big hump there because that's the porch underneath. And there was just a tiny bit of difference between this roof and the porch roof because they used different wood. I didn't bother adjusting it. Look at that little valley bead though. I'm pretty impressed with that for my first time ever. It's exactly like how the pros do it in the videos. I did run into a little problem up there. I was up here doing the valley and didn't realize that I hadn't completed all these rows and I had to pull a couple pieces up. And then I just put my pieces in the valley I needed so I could finish that edge and hoped my other ones would line up. And of course they didn't, but it's okay. They're all overlapping and it'll be watertight. Nobody can see that part from the street or anything. But yeah, if you look at the lines right there at the end, you can see my mistake where I ran off course. I was following the tar paper line, which was a mistake because that wasn't put on proper or not linear, not in line with the roof peak. It was a little off. It is really quiet up here. This is such a sound deck now. You don't hear anything. You don't even hear your footsteps. Before it was like you hear boards creaking and things moving. Red roof, red rhyme. I'm done for the day. There's still daylight out, but I just finished this part right here and it doesn't make any sense to pick up any farther. This part right here, I can't actually continue because these rows theoretically need to meet the same row coming from this side. And of course you can't put the ridge cap on until you have those shingles going up. Oh yeah, I just discovered they gave me the wrong type of ridge cap pricks. I don't have the se severe kind of a roof peak like the letter A, and that's what they sent me. I wanted something that basically was a little bit flatter and a little bit more coverage, like 10 inch flapper. This is for like short um, A frame, like log cabin or something. I might be able to flatten it out and use it, I'm not sure. If not, I'll have to cut up shingles and make my own. <sighs> So the next piece of business in the morning, oh yeah, here's a heads up on the um, starter stuff. They sent me one box, theoretically it's supposed to cover a 1500 square foot house. They were miscalculated by a long sight. Split them in half, it only equals 36 pieces, 36 inches long. It was enough to do the front of the house but not the back, so I'm going to need another box of the starter shingles or I can make my own shingles by cutting half of it off. I think that's going to be a lot of work so I'm probably just going to get another box from them. Maybe return those ridge cap ones and do something. Alright, that's where we're at today. Yeah, I'm going to do this part and then the front of the house will be done. This has already got the uh, starter row around and I've got my metal flashing right here for around the fireplace and that little section right there I got more flashing for this because I actually made a mistake and I put my flashing underneath the paper <laughs> you're supposed to put shingle flash shingle flash shingle flash and I misunderstood and put it all under here uh, in one regard, it's actually okay because what it did was build up this edge away So it's actually got a little pitch more than this does so it should like let water come back But anyway, I got new ones and I'm gonna place them as I go with these shingles 
but yeah, I tarred those down and put those on before. I was following a this old house video and they got it wrong. They also got it wrong about the drip edge. That pisses me off. They showed the drip edge going on before the paper and then I saw a bunch of other videos where they put it over the paper, which actually makes sense. As you can see, I put mine down first. Shouldn't matter though, the edge, uh, the starter stuff and the shingles both extend over an eighth of an inch. So it shouldn't matter, it should be okay. Seems like I've used an awful lot of bundles already. There was 50 of these. Signing off, check back tomorrow.